The Thief is already a pretty busted vocation in Dragon's Dogma 2 with skills like the Spin to Win Skull Splitter. But did you know you can combo together Formless Feint and Blades of the Pyre, which are the two ultimate skills for the class for massive damage on enemy weak points? The Blade of the Pyre skill seems a bit weird at first because of course it damages you as well, but it causes an explosion that also applies an elemental buff to your weapon. But when you use this while Formless Feint is active, no, you don't get damaged by the explosion. This allows you to do some spicy things to pretty much everything in the area around you, and it is very spammable. So as long as you have the stamina to do it, you can keep Formless Feint active and spam it to really rack up that damage. So between this and all of the other high damaging skills, the Thief is a pretty good go-to for outputting tons of damage. But this is just one deadly combo that you can do in Dragon's Dogma 2, as there are some awesome ones you can do across all of the classes. Comment any combos you figured out and let's start it off with an archer one which may seem like a lackluster vocation at first but there's a bunch of powerful combos you can do with it that quickly racks up that DPS and it makes you feel absolutely awesome. The most simple one is to have a mage in your party with an elemental boon like ice or fire and then use the spiral arrow skill of the archer. This is a rapid hitting attack and with that elemental boon it rapidly applies elemental damage that also builds up statuses quickly on enemies very useful for taking down larger monsters weak to that element. On top of this, if you manage to hit an enemy's weak point with it, you're going to be dealing even more damage, and we found that the Ice Boon works particularly well for this to freeze enemies, making it an absolute breeze. Another one of our favorite combos to use, though, is the Smoke Shroud for the Thief. This is a skill where you basically throw a smoke bomb down that blinds all nearby enemies. And while it initially seems like it's more of a utility skill because the description says you use it to counterattack or withdraw, this skill is actually one of the most most powerful skills in the game when combined with any skill that requires the target to be knocked off balance. For example, this will allow you to do the Fighter's Impale or the Thief's Twin Fang ability to get super easy executions on groups of trash mobs. So if you have a Thief in your party and you're playing something like the Fighter, you might want to consider putting this skill on the Thief. It also works for bigger monsters like Cyclopses and makes fights super fun and easy and it's just a cool way to take everything in an area out while you kind of look like Batman who's dropped a smoke. Smoke bomb. Now we haven't found too many crazy combos for classes like the Magic Archer or the Fighter, so if you've figured out any crazy awesome things that you can do when combining skills together, tell us in the comments down below. This now leads us onto our next combo, because if you have any skill that consumes a lot of stamina or drains it over time, then that Celestial Peon move of the Mage is a real game changer, as it massively increases the uptime of skills that drain stamina so you can do insane damage. We have mentioned that Formless Feint for the Thief is of course amazing, but it does drain your stamina a lot over time. But when you have a Mage Pawn in your party with Celestial Peon equipped, you can basically have this up infinitely, allowing you to never get hit by enemies because you never have your stamina drained. Draining. While both of these skills are active, your stamina just doesn't drain at all, and it does seem like the pawns cast it enough that you never really have to worry too much about it going down. It literally makes any fight easy mode because you can't get hit and you have infinite stamina. And now we have an amazing combo for the Mystic Spearhand. The ultimate Meister's teaching skill is Wild Fury, which is amazing and has you destroy everything with your magic clone, but drains your stamina massively if you use it to its full potential. Well, luckily, there's a pretty insane infinite loop that you can do that makes you invincible, quickly recharge all of your stamina, and thus allow you to loop spam your clone attack for not only massive damage, but also extra style points. If you slot in the Wild Fury ultimate skill, your mirror shields, skill, as well as the Ravenous Hon skill, this will get the combo rolling. Simply start a fight by using the shield to be invincible, then spam Wild Fury to complete your damaging combo, but also draining most of your stamina. After this, use the Ravenous Hond and spam it on the enemy to juice your stamina back up to maximum quickly. Once your stamina is then full again, activate the shield once more and spam Wild Fury again, making yourself invincible and looping this powerful attack. With this all together, you never have to worry about your stamina too much because you have an easy way to quickly max it back up with that skill, and of course the shield makes you invincible invincible so you never have to worry about getting attacked back, you're just constantly on the offensive. Of course, the previously mentioned Celestial Peon move from the Mage also gives you near infinite stamina, so this allows you to continuously spam Wild Fury too. With that being said, if you want to know another cool combo for the Mystic Spearhand, but one that isn't quite as busted, we have the Redoubted Bolt and the Sky Dragon's Feast. 
This is a really cool trick that allows you to teleport and instantly get on the back of an aerial monster. What you want to do is use the redoubted bolt until it's charged, shoot it at a monster and press X to teleport to them, then immediately use the Sky Dragon's Feast ability to mount them. We actually saw this combo in the pre-release official gameplay from Capcom, which is an awesome thing to do considering a lot of enemies do fly. So if you're playing Mystic Spearhand, this is one to remember for those pesky flying enemies. Next up is one that is often overlooked, but it's good to note that you can literally combo spell casting together with other mages or sorcerers when doing the same skill. This is called auxiliary encanting or spell sync. All you need to do is walk near a fellow mage or sorcerer and duo cast the same skill that they are. When you do this you will see a burst indicating that the spell is being synced and it will rapidly encant both of your spells together to cast it even quicker. This is of course more useful on the bigger more damaging spells in the game that have a longer encant time. It allows you to get huge damage off much quicker but we will say it can be hard to match the timings up so if any of you guys have any extra tips on this do tell us down below. If you want to further speed up the encant time of your spells, you should grab the Ring of Recitation which greatly reduces encant time by around 15-20%. to 20%. And you can get this by going to the Tomb of Genua in Batal and breaking down the hidden wall inside the tomb to reveal the chest. Next up we're going back to the Archer for another combo that while it seems basic is one you definitely should know about and it's the Tarring combo. All you need to do for this one is have a Tar arrow on your character and use the skill that allows you to shoot it on enemies. When you then hit the arrow that's embedded in them it will cover them in Tar which doesn't do any damage by itself but if you then set the enemy ablaze by any source of fire you will see health bars falling off the monster and have them struggling to recover from this horrible fire that is now enveloped them. A really great way to then proc the fire is to use the exploding shot, which means you can rapidly repeat this combo by shooting the tarring arrow at them, then shooting the exploding shot at them to both trigger the tar, set them on fire, and do a massive damaging explosion. Both of these things together don't even use much stamina, so as long as you have the resources to use these arrows, you can do this as much as possible, and it's super effective against enemies that are weak to fire like griffins. Next up is a combo that doesn't focus on just dealing tons of damage but will make you a better warrior and it's the fact that you can use the barge class ability to cancel out of attacks which is very useful when an enemy is too far away and you need to reposition. You can also use this to reduce the end lag of animations which is extra cool for more advanced players out there when trying to min max their gameplay. But if you've come over from Monster Hunter and you're a great sword player you will be used to doing this already so make sure to make the use of your barge skill on warriors. There's there's actually another move that you can benefit from by cancelling out of the animation and this will then increase your overall DPS and you can actually do this on the blaze fang arrow of the magic archer. What you need to do is shoot the arrow and then use the cancel or sheath button. It's actually super easy to do and allows you to then shoot another arrow while the first one is traveling. This greatly reduces the downtime of using this move and increases your overall fire rate because being stuck in that animation can be quite annoying sometimes. And next is a combo that is pretty devastating devastating so shout out to the rage gaming boys for coming up with this one. Josh has always been awesome at breaking sorcerers in every game like Diablo 4, Elden Ring and now Dragon's Dogma 2. This one requires you having the Orcural Flare ability for your sorcerer and what you need to do is cast it and this will attach a flare to the target and any attacks will cause the flare to scale in the number of detonations. So if you have a rapid hitting attack like the thief's very powerful skull splitter you can do insane damage with these two together. So there you have it, a bunch of combos you need to try out in Dragon's Dogma 2. Share your combos down below so we can all learn together and of course subscribe because we'll have more Dragon's Dogma 2 coming your way very soon.